Every star you see in the sky is really another sun, an enormous orb of burning gas drifting through space untold trillions of miles away. Each one is only one of hundreds of billions of stars in our Milky Way galaxy alone. But not every star is created equal. Some are very much like our own sun, potentially harboring planets teeming with life. But some are so unusual that they would appear completely alien to us. This is matter, and these are some of the strangest stars ever discovered in our universe. Number 10. Stevenson 218 The star Stevenson 218 is part of an open star cluster, 20,000 light years away. This star holds the distinction of being the largest star discovered to date. This enormous star measures in at an incredible 2,150 times the diameter of our Sun, 930 million miles from one side to the other. If Stevenson 218 were placed at the center of our solar system, it would engulf every planet up to and including Saturn. This star is classified as a red hypergiant and is larger and more luminous than astronomers had previously thought was even possible. Stevenson 218 is so large that its own gravity is likely unable to hold onto the upper layers of its atmosphere, causing the star to constantly lose mass over time as it is blown away by the solar wind. Number 9. Vega Vega is an extremely bright, extremely hot star 25 light years away. The fifth brightest star in the night sky and the brightest star in the constellation Lyra. Vega is around twice the mass of the Sun and 40 times more luminous. But the strange thing about Vega is not its size or its mass, but its rotation. Like the Earth, which rotates on its axis once every 24 hours, the Sun also spins with a rotational period of 27 days. Vega, on the other hand, makes a complete rotation every 12 and a half hours, ridiculously fast for any star, let alone one as large as Vega. This rapid rotation causes the entire star to flatten out, bulging visibly at the equator as the centrifugal forces push the star's mass outwards. At the surface of Vega, the speed of rotation is 236 km per second. Given Vega's size and mass, that is 88% of the velocity required for the centrifugal effects to tear the star apart. This rotation-induced flattening of Vega also leads to another curious phenomenon, known as gravity darkening. Its oblong shape makes the regions near the star's equator significantly cooler and dimmer than the poles. Number 8. WR-102 WR-102 is classified as a wolf riot star. These stars are characterized by their relatively faint hydrogen signatures, but strong signatures of heavy metals, such as iron and nickel. Wolf riot stars are rare enough, but WR-102 is even more unusual. This star's spectra contain unusually high concentration of ionized carbon and oxygen. It is only one of four known wolf riot stars in the Milky Way, with a similar spectrum. WR-102 is also very dense compared to a typical star. It contains 16 times the mass of our Sun, and yet is only half as wide. Much of WR-102's mass has been ripped away by its powerful solar winds, and the debris now surrounds the star in a nebulous cloud of gas and dust. The star is continually losing mass at an estimated rate of three Earths worth in a single year. Because WR-102 is so dense, it burns unimaginably hot. The surface of WR-102 is 380,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or 210,000 degrees Celsius. That is 40 times hotter than our own sun and makes WR-102 the hottest star currently known. Number 7. Captain Star Captain Star is 12.8 light years from Earth. It is a very small, M-class red dwarf, only 30% of the mass of the Sun. These red dwarf stars are extremely abundant, compromising around 75% of the stars in the Milky Way. The Captain star itself is an anomaly. Most of the 400 billion stars in the Milky Way orbit around the same galactic center in more or less the same direction, similar to how all the planets in the solar system orbit the Sun the same way. Captain star, on the other hand, has a retrograde orbit. Its path around the galaxy goes in the opposite direction from most everyone else. It is theorized that Captain Star was once a part of a small dwarf galaxy that merged with the Milky Way billions of years ago, tossing the star into its odd backwards orbit. Number 6. Tabby Star Tabby Star is a hot, F-type star located 1,470 light-years from Earth. It is about one and a half times larger than our own Sun. 
Tabby Star was one of several hundred thousand that were observed by the Kepler Space Telescope. Kepler's mission was to watch these stars for any fluctuations in brightness which might indicate that an exoplanet is briefly passing in front of it. Typically, the measured dip in brightness caused by a transiting planet is only a small fraction of a percent of the star's total brightness. However, Tabby Star has been observed to dim by as much as 22%. There is no way for an orbiting planet to create such a deep transit. Whatever it is, it would have to be covering at least half of the entire width of the star. The periodic dimming of Tabby Star also appears to be mostly random, unlike a typical transiting exoplanet. Why Tabby Star almost seems to switch off at times is still unknown. Some hypotheses include an uneven ring of dust, a swarm of cold, icy comets, or perhaps a planet or orphan moon being torn apart. The idea has even been thrown around that it might actually be due to some sort of alien megastructure, such as a Dyson Swarm. But there is little evidence to support this particular notion. Number 5. S5HV S1 S5HV S1 was first detected in 2019. It lies 29,000 light years away, near the direction of the galactic center. The HVS in its designation refers to its classification as a hypervelocity star. Stars which are moving much, much faster than normal. S5 HV S1 is, to date, the fastest such star that astronomers have found. It is moving at an astonishingly 1,755 kilometers per second. This is more than three times the escape velocity of the Milky Way. S5 HV S1 is on its way out of our galaxy, beginning a long and lonely journey through intergalactic space. This star probably gained its speed after a close encounter with Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy. The black hole's immense gravitational field acts like a slingshot, transferring its energy into the star as it passes by, throwing the hapless star up and out of the galaxy forever. Number 4. The Methuselah star, located about 200 light years away, in the constellation Libra, lies the star HD 140283. This star has been given the nickname of the Methuselah star after the biblical figure who supposedly lived for nearly a thousand years. The Methuselah star earned this nickname by being the oldest star ever discovered. Recent studies estimate that this star may be 13 billion years old or even older. The Big Bang, the moment of creation of the universe itself, only happened 13.8 billion years ago, meaning that the Methuselah star only formed a few hundred million years after the universe began. This star may have been among some of the very first generations of stars to have ever existed. Number 3. VFTS 352 The next star on our list isn't actually located within our galaxy at all, but in a companion galaxy of the Milky Way, called the Small Magellanic Cloud, approximately 160,000 light years from our Sun. The peculiar star VFTS 352 also isn't a single star at all, but at the same time, it isn't exactly two stars either. It is what is known as a contact binary. Two stars that are locked in a shared orbit so close to each other that they actually begin to merge, sharing the outer layers of their gaseous atmospheres. Two stars that are one. The binary components are both O-type stars, the very hottest and rarest in the universe. Only one of every 10 million stars in the Milky Way is an O-type star. In the future, it is possible that the two stars will eventually merge, forming a single, ultra-rapidly rotating star, or they may finish their life cycles in two spectacular supernova explosions, forming a binary system of two black holes. Number 2. New Scorpi The next star is, once again, not a singular star. New Scorpi, approximately 480 light years from Earth, is actually a system of stars. We know of dozens of binary and even trinary star systems. New Scorpi meets them all with a system of an astounding seven stars. Systems with such a large number of component stars are believed to be extremely rare. The more stars in a system, the more unstable the configuration becomes, and the orbits tend to quickly devolve into chaotic, unpredictable patterns, inevitably ejecting stars until stability is reached. The architecture of the serpentary New Scorpi system is strange and complicated. The system is split into two halves. On one end, a small binary pair orbits each other with a small satellite star orbiting around them. The trinary, in turn, orbits around fourth companion. On the other side, there is another similar binary and satellite star. The two halves of the system orbit each other in an intricate, centuries-long celestial dance. Each star in the new Scorpi system is separated from the others by hundreds or thousands of times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. The periods of their orbits range from only five days to nearly 100,000 years. Number 1. 
Prybilsky Star, HD101065, nicknamed Prybilsky Star, is a giant four solar mass star 355 light years from Earth. The peculiarity of the star has been known since 1961, when Polish Australian astronomer Antoni Prybilsky discovered something unusual by the star's observed spectral properties. Something so unusual that the star would not fit into the ordinary scheme of stellar classification. The spectroform Prybilskis reveal that it is unusually poor in metals like iron and nickel. But the strangest thing is that the star appears to be extremely abundant in other exotic elements, including uranium and plutonium. These elements are highly unstable and their short half-lives should have caused them to decay away long, long ago. The fact that we can still see them in the upper layers of the star means that there must be something replenishing these exotic isotopes over time. One theory predicts that there are long-lived, ultra-heavy isotopes generated in the atmosphere of Prybilsky star that don't exist anywhere on Earth. These heavy isotopes may eventually decay into the short-lived, unstable elements that we observe, keeping their abundance in relative equilibrium. Thank you for watching Matter. 